So today what we're doing is a career swim of a 99 overall player who's a two-way player as well. That's right. Recently, we've done a 99 overall position player. Boom, link right there. Go and check it out. But for today's video, we have a career sim for a two-way player who just happens to be one of the best of all time. Maybe. It might suck. Who knows? But let's get into it. I hope you enjoy it. Thumbs up if you do. If you're new here, consider hitting subscribe. And of course, in the comment section. You think we're going to see other players like Otani in the future? Obviously, maybe not to like that type of caliber. Like Otani is like, ooh. But do you, do you think we might see some more two-way players? I know we've got pool holes taking the mound recently. And Molina, Yadi Molina taking the mound recently. But I mean like some real two-way players. Do you think it's going to happen? All right, so we're with the Diamondbacks. And for these career sims, I let the CPU handle everything. But because we're doing a two-way player, I do have to mess with the lineups for at least the first season to make sure that he does get the at-bats needed to convert him to a two-way player. So what I've done is I've created a two-way player. This is our guy. We've got Yoni Diaz, 18 years old, switch hitter. Yes, you see that right. 6'8", 270. He is an absolute unit. Probably in the, probably, probably in the wrong sport. But you know what? If he's throwing gas like he is right here, let me show you his stats. Boom, look at those pitches. He's throwing gas. This, this is going to be an elite stuff. So here we are. We've got the pitching stats. I mean, he's got the quirks. You, you want the quirks. He's got the hitting quirks as well. But here we go. Fielding pretty low. I'm hoping that'll at least keep him like a 99 for longer. Also, we've got these beautiful hitting stats. He doesn't know how to bunt. We're, we're not sending him out there to bunt. We're sending him out there to hit dingers. So how this is going to work is I have to make him the DH. And that's why I'm actually controlling the lineups for the first season because I have to get him to be a DH. So whenever you have a player, let's see if I can get to the pitching, the pitching rotation. So, oh, it's actually not showing the two way thing. Normally in the top right, there's like a, there'll, there'll be like a, a two way, a two way pitching thing. And I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to have to get into the season a little bit and I'll see you guys at the all-star break because I want to make sure this is the right way to do it because I'm 99% sure, but normally you'll see like in the top right, zero out of so many innings to become a two-way player. So hopefully this works. I've got him in the lineup. So there it is. Let's get into it. All right. So I'm only in the month of May, but this is what I wanted to show you because this is, this is what I was looking for. In the top right, you see two-way player status. He's got the innings pitched and he's got the position players uh, the games as a position player sorted. So boom, there we are. Perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. That two-way player status in the top right-hand corner. So when you make a player, you have to make them a starting pitcher. And then when you put them into the team, you have to then like implement, like you have to like force them into the lineup. And then you'll see the two-way player status. I want to see if it's also going to be for like Zach Allen. So there you go. You can see it's for every pitcher. Um, obviously, some pitchers, uh, most pitchers don't have good hitting stats, but because we're using it, we're trying to make him a two-way player. What you have to do is you have to throw him into the lineup. You have to force him in there every day. And as you can see, he's got the innings pitched. He's got the position uh, of the games for position players. So now what I can do is I should be able to edit, go in here. I should be able to change it. Yep, I, I'm, I can change it now. I can change his position. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do like like a like a left field because you don't necessarily oh actually I should probably do a position that requires fielding so I should probably do sh ooh let's see here let's just do like maybe second and short and then we'll just or let's let's just do shortstop he's not going to play shortstop but maybe that'll like help out with the rating I I don't know I is there, can I just put like DH? Is that a possibility? No, we'll just put outfield. I feel like that makes the most sense. But here we go. We've got the position, the two-way player stat is done. So we're good there. We're good. Pitching is going well. Hitting, not so much. But let's get to the all-star break. Kind of towards the trade deadline. And let's see what's happening. Okay, so let's go see if our player was an all-star. He was not. He was not. That is very unfortunate. Really? Not an all-star? So do, is he like getting shelled or something? No. How is he not an all-star? That is insane. Look at this season. Yeah, he's five and four on the year, but look at the ERA. Look at the whip. This guy is electric. This guy's absolutely nutty. 
What about offensively? I, I totally expect some stats to go down over the over the season. Let's see here. 28 doubles, 17 home runs, 50, 57 walks, which is insane. Less strikeouts, 26 stolen bases. Those are numbers I'm looking for. Those are numbers I'm looking for. So there we go. What I'll do is I'll maybe like compare him after a few seasons to kind of see what Otani's at. Kind of compare him and Otani just to get an idea of what these two like are doing, right? Because what Otani will be in the league five years after this season. I believe that's correct. I think that's correct. I think it'll be five years. And if that's the case, then we can kind of see where Otani's at after five years. I know Otani has had some injuries, but let's let's go see. Let me see where Otani is in his career. So Otani is five years in. So definitely has some injuries, right? Like that is a that is a big thing that kind of plagued him early on in the majors. But you can kind of see, you know, what to expect, right? And then offensively, you know, again, crazy numbers, right? Had a bad year this year, actually. Like a really bad year. Wow. That's like the worst I've ever seen Otani do. That's crazy. Did they not? They gave him 162 games. That's crazy. Holy cow. Okay. So about 100 home runs. Realistically, you could probably throw another 20 on there if we're trying to, you know, like keep it the averages. I know the 2020 season was shortened. So maybe. Yeah, I would say just if it was like a, a normal season, probably throw another 20 on there. So we're probably looking around 135 ish home runs hits about 500 maybe another 100 on there so maybe another like around 600 hits okay all right so this is this is kind of a good area to kind of look at all right okay all right so let's go take a look at the awards what do we got going on here nl rookie of the year kind of expected right it was electric electric by the way so 11 and 7 so he got the wins and the losses up both of them <laughs> uh hits super low earned runs fantastic walks didn't walk a lot of people struck out crazy numbers insane era insane whip you love to see it when we take a look at the offensive numbers 132 hits so i kind of would like to see that go up a little bit maybe 150 that would that'd be like a kind of a good number to kind of hit every single year but 30 home runs 41 doubles 30 stolen bases didn't strike out a lot walked a lot and I mean, the average, the on-base percentage, the slugging, the OPS. What are we looking at war-wise? A 4.8 and a 6.1 pitching war. So that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good. I would say he was probably should have been in the Cy Young race. But just because of the wins and losses, he's probably not. Which is dumb. But there it is. That's season one in the books. Rookie of the year. Let's get to season two. All right. So in the second season, we're a little bit deeper into the year. I kind of missed the, the all-star break. I'll probably... Check the All-Stars every once in a while as we move forward. I probably won't show you all of the first 10 years, but you could see Diaz is off to a crazy, crazy year. Insane season. Stats are holding up pretty well. And I mean, he's looking electric. Electric. I'm I'm loving it. Uh, Diamondbacks probably not making the postseason. Probably not making the postseason, which is kind of expected, right? They are improving, though. Almost a 90-win club. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I mean, I'll, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, they have definitely changed the team up a little bit. Yara's joined. You've got Garrett Cooper, Naquin, JD Martinez is back. You've got Adolis Garcia, Wilson Contreras as well, Odor. They've like completely changed this team. They've got like a brand new squad. So league leaders, strikeouts, ERA, innings pitched, the war, and then offensively, home runs, batting average, slugging percentage, and OPS. Yes. This guy is taking over baseball. Like, not even Otani's coming close. I want to see if I can even... Is Otani even somewhere on this list? There he is. Okay. Huh. Huh. You know, 229 average? Good Lord. Is Otani forgetting how to play baseball all of a sudden? Awards. Cy Young. Hank Aaron. MVP. And a Silver Slugger. I mean, that's pretty impressive, huh? That is pretty impressive okay so i want to see what he didn't win so we got the batting average has to be rbis right he's got the home runs the rbis he missed out on by 14 for the triple crown the triple crown all right so crazy good year right mvp you got this Cy young oof beautiful stuff beautiful stuff love to see it and um let me get to the right side Cy young a batting title we've got hank aaron award 
not a gold glove because he's like John Lester out there on the mound, but I would assume a silver slugger. Yeah, there it is. We, they've got to get this fixed for MLB The Show where like it shouldn't be pitcher. It should be DH, right? So anyways, let's take a look at his second season. He pitched more, so he did allow a few more hits, right? But the runs went down, actually. Home runs went down. He walked a few more people. He also struck out more people. ERA was better. Whip, a little bit higher, but honestly, not bad. 30 quality starts. Hit two batters. Mm, unacceptable, unacceptable. But, I mean, look at look at, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Ooh, his FIP is 2.38, which is still unbelievable. And then let's go to the other side of the, the game. The offensive side, almost... 40 doubles. He got 53 home runs, 115 RBIs. The walks are still great. The strikeouts are still low. 42 stolen bases. I mean, the guy's electric. This is exactly what we're looking for. Crazy numbers. Insane numbers. Love to see it. There we go. I mean, this guy's killing it just two years into the majors. Let's keep it moving. I mean, they didn't make the postseason, so I'm not too worried about the postseason heading into the offseason. I mean, things are looking great. All right, so I know some of you are going to be wanting to see what Yoni Diaz looks like on the mound and also the dish because he's so tall. So I'm going to put some pictures on screen now. I don't like hopping into games for these because I feel like it would just extend the video to be just, just too long, right? Especially if I'm like watching the games play out. I feel like it's just such a long game. Like each game takes 45 minutes. And if I'm cutting up a bunch of different segments of games, we're probably looking at like a feature length film here. So video or pictures on screen just so you guys get an idea of how big he is in the box and also on the mound there you go season three in the books no postseason the diamondbacks looked like they were pretty terrible which i mean i guess i guess uh yeah sure offensively yeah i can I, I i mean maybe all right let's see what we got here strikeouts that was it so interesting i no awards either good lord not even a Cy Young race? Why is Otani in the, the National League West? Why is that a thing? Okay, so now I need just need to go to pitching. So, still 99 overall. Again, I'm, I'm expecting some numbers to go down as the seasons progress, but we're still looking good. And how did we do this year? Not as good. ERA is a little bit higher. The whip's still in a great spot, so the runs are definitely being allowed at the home run numbers. Back up into the mid-20s. Walks are still low. Strikeouts are still high, but... Just allowed a few more runs than normal. So overall, still pretty happy with what he's been doing. Offensively, what are we looking at here? 42 doubles, 31 home runs. So numbers are still looking great. And all right. Okay. I'm, I mean, what more could I ask for? This guy's electric. I'm loving what I'm seeing. We're only in year three. I mean, no postseason. So we can't really talk about that much more. But he's looking good. I mean, he's looking insane. I think... Once we get to year five, let's compare him to Shohei and we should be good. So I'm going to continue to run through it. Season four, let's do it. Four in the books. What do we have awards wise? Strikeouts and offensively, it looks like he got back on track. Batting average, slugging percentage and OPS. Perfect. Love it. God, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Awards, a Hank Aaron award and a silver slugger. Really? Not even like, not even in the mix for Cy Young. Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. That, that's that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. So let's go take a look. Where is he here? So definitely more regression than I was expecting. Like definitely a lot more regression than I was expecting. But I mean, the hit numbers are going up. The runs are... Wow, he had a really bad pitching year. Wow. Okay. Huh. Not good. Not good. Not good. Um, That is unfortunate. That's a... Oof, that's tough. What about offensive numbers offensive numbers are so great like those are those are fantastic i mean those are those are looking real nice but the pitching numbers on the other hand you don't like to see the numbers going down so much maybe it's just because he's had a couple bad years that you would see some regression like that and then when you look at the offensive numbers because he's been so good they've been holding but wow i need to see those numbers for the pitching get back on track again you know the the diamondbacks aren't good so season four in the books let's go season five let's get a little more of a deep dive in to see how he's doing compared to maybe otani on top of that just kind of see where he is as a whole looking at the career numbers and everything like that because i've shown you the career numbers so you guys have a chance to like kind of pause the video and look at it but i actually haven't even looked at the bottom of the screen to see where he is career wise in terms of wins era hits all that good stuff so let's get into season five
All right, season five in the books. Yeah. And uh, let's see what we got here. Strikeouts, innings pitched, and war. So maybe back on track. All right. Slugging percentage, OPS. The dude just hits well, slugs well, and has a good OPS. So, yes, back on track. Minimal regression. Awesome to see. What about offensively? Offensively, he's holding his stats pretty well, too. Only 22 years old. Five years of MLB service time. Let's take a look. What do we got going on here? So, innings pitch. The dude's a workhorse. The guy's going to give you innings. Hits are still a little... Uh, maybe actually... I mean, they're they're okay. It's it's the runs. The runs are in a good spot. That's what I like to see. You know, the walk numbers are low. The strikeouts are high. The ERA is in a fantastic place. And then we take a look at the war. I mean, the guy's killing it. He's he's absolutely insane. FIP is at three point two one, which okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. So yeah, I mean, the guy's killing it. The guy's back on track. This is what we were looking for. Not this four point two ERA, one point three WHIP. We're not trying to get no. 420 blaze at era none of that stuff so 38 doubles 32 home runs hits we're still hovering around that like 160 ish mark and I, got, I said 150 would be a good number so like i'm happy for that but you know seeing maybe like a 200 hit season just once would be cool get those hit numbers up but comparing him to kind of like where shohei was i mean we're definitely above what shohei was doing which is awesome to see this 53 home run season though absolutely insane unbelievable i mean it seems like this is going to be kind of like the average moving forward which i'm perfectly fine with that's that's insane right now so we know shohei is with the, the giants what are we putting up over here yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty good pitching season um yeah that's pretty good why is he doing better than what we're doing considering his attributes compared to ours what's what's the difference here and offensively what do we have offensively you know what we're better we're just better that's just what it is we're better that's just, that's just it just it just is it just is that way we are better so awards what do we have here a cy young and a hank aaron award i mean i'm assuming he has like the silver slugger for pitching every year yeah i mean there's nobody i mean otani's in the league now but as you can see we're just better we're, we are it's just the fact of the matter it's just we're we're better but there it is so still no postseason team's kind of bad as you can see so yeah, season five or season six before he hits free agency. So in the year before, or actually the year that his contract expires, Diamondbacks are like, yeah, let's make the postseason. And if you look at their team, Adamus, Moncada, Marte, uh, some reason Diaz is on the bench, but he's played in every single game and got the same amount of at-bats as normal. So that's good to see. All right, so yeah, they made the postseason. The team's pretty good though. Innings pitched, that was it. That sucks. I wanted to see more of Yoni Diaz. They got to see more of them. So that means no awards. And Ian Happ, the mayor of Cincinnati, signs with Cincinnati. And uh, yeah, numbers make sense. Makes sense. Um, so Cy Young finished second to Otani. No, no. Okay. All right, let's go take a look. Let's see how he did for the year. So 23 years old, about to hit free agency. Still seeing regression. And um, I'm, I'm just kind of hoping we can sit around like a three low three era this entire sim that'd be awesome to see whips great you know numbers are looking good i mean i'm not really looking at the wins and losses which is gonna suck because that's really what's gonna determine if he's a hall of famer or not i don't think it'll look at his offensive numbers because he's a starting pitcher so even though we might have an absolutely insane offensive career i think it's only gonna look at our our pitching numbers which is gonna suck because if you look at what he's put up in six seasons we're at almost a thousand hits 200 plus home runs the doubles are great the walk numbers insane insane strikeout numbers low stolen bases fantastic had the lowest or second lowest average of his career but overall this is still absolutely insane absolutely great to see he's killing it and in the postseason how is he gonna do they're gonna win they're gonna win okay all right so next game how are we doing against the giants they move on to the next round of the postseason can they keep it going no they lose to the cubs but not bad not bad does he resign with the diamondbacks so that's that's a good question what are we gonna have here oh does he do it does he do it do they do they even bring him back do they even offer him a contract they they did they did. They re-signed him. He's back. He's back. There it is. 
Alright, so a postseason team, finally. I mean, the team is finally putting something together. War and a little bit of offensive work. A little bit of offensive damage by Yoni Diaz. I mean, I think I think we're starting to see some crazy stuff happening. No MVP. No Phil Cruz. The hair. The goatee. The, the glasses combo. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay, so rotation what do we got here how are we looking i mean 36 era 1.19 whip so still respectable respectable numbers i mean can we talk about like the whole eastbound and down uh stash going on maybe like a little nestor cortez a little extension of that i mean that's impressive that's impressive okay offensively how are we looking crazy double numbers crazy home run numbers rbis through the roof still stealing bases like crazy i like it who's 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 leading the league in stolen bases every year that he's not winning it let me see it oh he missed out by one because of alberto guzman can we get, get that guy out of here this is this is his it's supposed to be him all right overall still killing it love to see it where oh he's pitching so he's probably not gonna be gotcha gotcha okay yeah there it is i mean we're still on an unbelievable track so things are looking good what was this year's Year seven technically because he just signed a new contract so postseason time and season's over yeah not great all right season eight in the books postseason appearance we are a wild card team dang all right let's see what we got here so no awards not even gonna look at the awards because he didn't win any pitching it looks like we're kind of seeing like the best of him we've kind of seen the best of him i don't think he's gonna tank by any means i just think he's gonna kind of hover around what we've been seeing you know like a three something era the whip's gonna be low it's gonna be really good it's just this is kind of this is kind of what we're gonna have and th there's nothing bad about that like these are actually really respectable numbers he's actually winning more than he's losing which is not normally what i'd expect but yeah things are looking great i mean the dude got what 15 year contract it looks like at least 10 whoa he's been on the team already for two years after signing so i mean at it's yeah, it's an at least a 10 year contract. I didn't see what it originally was. I should have looked at it. But yeah, you can kind of see what's going on here. There it is. Pitching wise, yeah, still really good. Again, like it's it's not it's not bad at all. Like the wars in the three high threes. So like yeah, he's putting up crazy good numbers. His FIPS three, three and a half ish, which is awesome to see. So overall, again, he's still putting up very respectable seasons. He's not leading the league in anything. But then when you look at his offensive numbers, you're going, yeah, if he can pitch like that and give me these sort of offensive numbers, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that. Stolen base is still great. RBI's dipped a little bit. But the home runs in the 30s, the doubles in the 30s, the hits dropped a little bit as well. But overall, I mean, can't complain about it. We are seeing a little bit of regression offensively. But again, not, not bad. Not bad. I like it. I like it. So there it is. Boom. Love to see it. Postseason time. Boom. Dang. Eight to nine loss. Eight to nine loss. All right. Let's get to season nine. All right. So no postseason this year. On the, uh, you know, a little, little unfortunate. We've got a Cy Young Award. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, Really regressing though. Holy cow. One thing I am noticing, maybe durability has something to do with this. Like he regressed a lot. Like a lot, a lot. So... I'm going to bump up durability, and I want to see if that has anything to do with it, because it might. It could. So I'm going to bump up durability back to 99, and then that's the only stat you're going to see that I'm going to mess with. That's the only thing. Durability. Because I want to see if that's going to play into effect at all. But overall, I mean, offensively, numbers look real good. Love to see those. Pitching-wise, Cy Young winner. So solid, right? I mean, can't complain about it at all. So we got one more year to look into it. We'll see what happens. And uh, no postseason, so season 10, let's do it. Season 10 ends in pretty bad, pretty, in a pretty bad fashion. You know, you can kind of see 61 and 101, not, not good. Awards, <sighs> nothing, nothing, nothing. That is disappointing. Okay, so let's see here, 91 overall, 10 years service time. So he's still kind of regressing a little bit. Disappointing to see, super disappointing to see. He's still got what, three, six, seven, no, eight years left on his deal. I believe that's correct. Eight, right? Let me, we could just do this. Um, I can't, I 
eight years. I think it's I think it's eight years. We'll just say it's eight years because I can't do I can't I can't do it. Anyways, so first losing season in quite a while. Um, still looking. Oh wow, actually not looking good. Not looking good. ERA, yikes. Whip, highest of his career. Is it the highest of ERA? Yeah, highest ERA of his career too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Doubles are great. Home runs dipped a little bit, which I think is the power numbers dipped quite a bit as well. Wow. Okay. So there's that. RBIs kind of dipped as well. Uh, strikeout numbers are going up a little bit. Walks are going down. Stolen bases are still great. I mean, overall, the numbers are still fantastic. And if you look at his 10 year total, 331 home runs, 1,500 hits. I don't know if we're going to hit 3,000. Home runs, I think we'll be able to hit. 500 what do we what do we need 170 maybe ah, it's, it's possible it's possible but like he is regressing quite a bit so it, it is going to be interesting to see how this all plays out that's 10 years in the books i'll see you guys when he retires because i feel like we've seen the best of it all right so 2039 retired which is actually not too far off of when this contract expire i think this is actually the first year he was a free agent so yeah, as you can see, he, he was with Arizona. He got a couple years offensively. Yeah, didn't, didn't really do too well. I mean, like this year right here, 2036, not bad, not bad. You can kind of see, had a couple years, had like a weird year where he didn't play at all. This was kind of the one year that he really regressed. And I guess he just got, a, got taken out of the lineup. And then from here, he was just offensively put in the lineup. So that's, that's really what it was. I mean, nothing too crazy happened. He regressed quickly but if you think about it 36 years old i'm pretty happy with the fact that we were able to get this far into his career you know if you look at his numbers 2000 hits 416 home runs 500 doubles stolen bases 428 i mean walks almost a thousand walks like that's that is a respectable career you know the average at 293 ops at 932 what was the war offensively we had 72 exactly like that's pretty good that's pretty good like I, you can't can't complain about that at all like offensively fantastic numbers now let's go take a look at pitching so in his career 181 and 131 so again not not bad not bad at all you can see almost 3,000 innings pitched we look at the era you're looking at 3.42 with a 1.19 whip again really respectable if we take a look at his his war pitching wise 55.9 and his FIP is at 3.54 solid that's a solid career like obviously you know if you compare to some of some of the crazy numbers out there it's it's not the best but I, like if you're looking at it pitching and hitting wise to be able to do both that well respectable respectable indeed i mean like let's take a look here you know like those are good numbers those are those are pretty solid numbers so a 15 year career really respectable able to do it at an elite level for a majority of his career maybe one or two real bad seasons offensively and pitching wise like that's that's pretty good that's pretty good is he a hall of famer yes he should be he should be but he's not because they're they're only focusing on the the pitching attributes which is super disappointing because if you look at his offensive numbers i how, would he be a would he be a Hall of Famer with his offensive numbers? 400 home runs, 2,000 hits. Ah, maybe. I guess that's that that would be up for debate. I maybe. I think if you combine the, the hitting numbers and the pitching numbers together, I think with a career like that, you're definitely deserving of a Hall of Fame career. That's where it ends. I hope you enjoyed the 99 overall two-way player. Sadly, no Hall of Fame, but honestly, a pretty solid career. I'm pretty happy with what we were able to do this time around this time around this time around this time around i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content and of course get in the comment section let me know what your thoughts are on two-way players i think it's just a little bit too difficult in baseball to make it happen you know otani i think is just one of those like aliens you know like he's just able to do it if you look at like other players it's, it's just a really tough tough um tough ability to have hitting and pitching so that's just my thoughts let me know what you think in the comment section catch you in the next one peace did you enjoy today's video if you did i've got another one for you right here boom right there check it out it's gonna be great recommend this one